Okay guys, welcome in. I have something very exciting to unbox. Uh, this is Russ EFI reaching out to me and offering for me to try one of their ECUs. Now, I have been following Russ EFI for a number of years and I, I, I wasn't really familiar with their products and what they do until I started doing uh, my standalone adapter harness for the Forerunner, the 5VZ FE. And the, the 5VZ, um, to get the breakout board for the ECU connector on the stock ECU, it was a little bit difficult to find until I found Russ EFI. They sell the adapter board, which uh, they so kindly sent out to me for another project that I'm going to talk about. But um, yeah, I tried that. It worked great. It was one of the best breakout boards that I've messed with in you know, the years of messing around with uh, microelectronics. And I just wanted to uh, yeah, show what they'd sent out. They're very kind. Thank you so much for us, EFI. Um, they make an open source ECU platform that is a large collaboration between many different people and they have a hugely feature packed ECU platform uh, for very inexpensive. So let's jump into it and um, I'm just going to pull these away real quick and we'll, we'll start going over what we have here. So this is the ultra affordable EFI platform that they have sent out. I, I actually, um, in my line of work, I work with a lot of Intel products and this actually looks like an Intel Nook uh, dimension board. I'm not actually sure if that's correct. You can uh, let me know if you're that way, but I could um, I could drop it in one of those, but um, we'll get to that in a second. There's also this other package, which I'm very much anticipating as well. It looks to be another ECU plug for a Toyota 122 pin and their breakout board. So, yep, this is it. This is the exact breakout board that I used on the Forerunner, and I've got another project for a 2UZFE that I was planning on doing. I let Russ see if I know that, and they so graciously sent out the connector and uh, the breakout board that they make. So, I actually have had quite a few people ask me about these recently, and you can find them on Russ EFI's eBay store. I'll put a link in the description. A few people have already gone out and bought them from seeing what I've done on the channel here. Um, but yeah, they they just take the stock ECU header that goes on the uh, stock ECU, and then you can put all the pins in right here, solder them up, and then you have a nice little breakout board where you can connect wires. I just used like 20 gauge Tefzel wire right here and then break off and go to your ECU. So yeah, if you're looking for these, they have like, I don't know, a hundred different ones of these, maybe not that many, but pretty close. Like they've got all different Toyota, Nissan, Honda, uh, you name it, breakout boards, BMW. Um, so yeah, I'll put a link in the description for them. Uh, and yeah, let's take a look here now at the, the board. So this is really cool. I wasn't familiar with it until I started looking into them now. And this is a platform that they use for different ECUs. There's like ones for BMW and uh, Miatas, Hondas. Um, but basically this has, uh, yeah, this is a, a universal EFI board that you can put different map sensors on you can add different components like bluetooth or there's a little like um, area for the built-in wideband so you can do a wideband that has the heater and the controller on it uh, it's extremely feature packed and also they have molex connectors that you can go let me zoom in here a little bit more you can put these molex connectors in along the board and then you can have some connectors that uh, you can take in and out. You can mount this on some standoffs in like a stock ECU case and then just branch out to like, um, for example, like say this is in a stock ECU case, you can trim the pins um, and then just do jumpers from the pins to 
the stock ECU plug and then basically uh, have like a stock ECU form factor, but you've got this board inside of it. So the reason I think this is really cool is because I have basically favored small form factor ECUs for their, uh, just to show off what you can do with a small ECU, like the micro squirt, the uh, max ECU mini that I just got. And then there's a few others out there that I've wanted to try, but haven't yet. Um, I've also tried Speedduino in the past, but Russ EFI seems like the most feature packed ECU that you can get for the money. Um, these are an incredibly good value for what you get. You get a ton of functionality. They even have like different drive by wire and uh, other math functions that you can't get on like a micro squirt. So I'm really excited to give it a try. And what I'm gonna do is go over all of this separately in a couple other videos. So I'll go ahead and we'll plug this in. It's a uh, USB type C which everything that's USB should be in 2024. And um, let me plug it in for you and you can just see this thing kick on. But um, I'll go over like the initial setup in other videos and like how to plug it in. I actually, I already cheated on this uh, unboxing and I went ahead and plugged this into Tuner Studio. Immediately it downloaded the right INI file and I was connected in like 30 seconds. So right out of the box, I had zero issues. Um, and it also uses Tuner Studio. Um, so Tuner Studio is how you tune this. So if you're familiar with Megasquirt products or Speedduino products at all, you'll be able to jump in and have very familiar uh, user interface for this guy um, if you're trying to tune it up. So anyway, the um, I think the first intention I have for this is getting uh, like a 12, a couple 12 connector Deutsch plugs and then just soldering wires to all the connections to run my 5V ZFE and or a 2U ZFE Toyota engine, the V8, and then put those on some connectors that are uh, Deutsch and then make it so that I can connect Deutsch connector the other side of it to this breakout board and or my uh, 5V Z breakout board that I have. That way I can move this around between platforms and test it, and it's not married to one specific uh, connector combination. So I'll, I'll basically just branch it off, make it in on a, on a Deutsch plug that I can just repin to whatever ECU I'm testing. So I think that'll be the next thing I do. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys what this has, because I I really didn't understand them until I started looking into them after talking with the Russ EFI guys, but this is really cool of them. Thank you so much guys for sending this out. I'm really excited and looking forward to testing out your products. Um, they have these in different form factors too that already have a case on them, but this one is specifically designed for like uh, plug and play type stuff where you would make a, a custom case or recase it in the stock ECU case. So for me, it's not a really a big deal at all. All we have to do is solder up like uh, 12 or 15 wires from here, and then I can just mount it on some standoffs, and then we can be off to the races testing with it. So anyway, thanks again. Um, if you are interested, go check out russefi.com. They uh, have a lot of good information. Um, thanks again, guys, at Russ EFI. This is too cool. Um, they've, yeah, they've got a whole bunch of other types of ECUs that they put together and, uh, they can show you all the feature sets. We're going to go over that in some later videos, but I just want to get this unboxing, uh, out to you guys and show you kind of what they offer. It's not only ECUs, they offer other breakout boards that can work for solutions like that. And, uh, I've already had a bunch of people reach out about these. So I figured, you know what? Let's go ahead and uh, make sure everyone knows where to look if you're trying to get those breakout boards. So thanks again, Russ EFI. This is awesome. And uh, we look forward to testing this out in some future videos. And uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in stuff like this, feel free to uh, subscribe and like and leave a comment. Let's get some uh, good conversation going on this in the comments. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Thank you.